I'm Elise Dearborn. I'm co-chairperson of Public Power San Diego, a coalition of organizations all fighting for publicly run power. I'd like to tell you just a little about how I became involved with PPSD, why, and why we're do and what we're doing to promote publicly owned and operated power in San Diego. Um, this, I was phone banking when I fell into a conversation with a fellow volunteer who was involved with PPSD. He told me that they were about to hold their first press conference to publicize publicly owned power. I was curious, so I checked it out. PPSD's press conference was specifically protesting then Mayor Faulkner's poorly written power utility franchise agreement. I was impressed with what I heard from the speakers, the cause itself, and with PPSD. I became involved right away. And for those who may not know, a franchise agreement is when a utility, in this case, a publicly or privately run electricity and gas service, is granted the exclusive use of the city's infrastructure for energy transmission and distribution, as well as for the right to install and maintain wires, poles, power lines, and underground gas and electric lines within city limits. So at the founding press conference, speakers discussed the undeniable fact that publicly run power benefits the people the most in California. It ensures greater transparency and democracy, better control over what's in our power bill and the size of our bill. It would also allow for the smooth transfer of benefits to SDG&E workers as public workers under California Public Utilities Code. And lastly, it would provide lower rates to every rate payer. Lower rates is something for which we have strived the hardest for everyone since that press conference. With publicly run power, we would no longer be paying for SDG&E franchise fees to the city, nor would our power rates be spent on the many expensive SDG&E lobbyists trying to manipulate our well-intentioned California Public Utility Commissioners through not just dinners, but trips overseas. You shouldn't have to pocket the cost of every SDG&E lobbyist's plane ticket, nor that of those they lobby. Publicly run power covers the cost of electricity and gas. That's it. Rate payers, financing lobbyists, and extraneous costs related to private utility and its holding company would be cut out of our power bills. Now, PPSD is proud to have held press conferences, political and educational forums, and more with vocal supporters in attendance from a former California public utility commissioner to the founder of a banking startup supporting sustainable environmental solutions. Recently, we've begun a video campaign asking every San Diegan to call their council person and tell them to vote no on this newest bad franchise agreement from Mayor Gloria.